On this video, I tell you about Rex HF powder, about the powder and the application. This is the same HF glider as HF21 Blue, but we have added some PTFE or Teflon as a trademark name for PTFE in it. And the reason for this is the powder is that PTFE is insoluble in waxes. So we have grinded the HF21 and added the PTFE in the mix. I'll show you what what kind kind of PTFE we have here. It's like really uh, small granules and and here's the HF powder wax which is also quite fine and the reason for PTFE working in this form mixed with HF powder is that HF wax works as a driver for PTFE because if you add PTFE only the application is really hard because there is no surface for PTFE to stick in to the wax base because it doesn't connect with anything but with HF wax we can apply it into the ski base so when do you use the HF powder? What is it good for instead of mostly, HF21? Mo mostly on old snow, when it's uh, transformed snow or really wet or... Okay. Mm. So, so we, we just apply this on the ski base and melt it just like it's a regular glider. The melting temp is around 130 degrees. Shit, my phone is ready. No, it's not. So, is it a lot faster than HF21 on old snow? Uh, depends on the day, but when the weather hits right, then it's really fast. You could say it's some, somewhere between floor powder and edge of gliders. So maybe for junior racing on old snow, you can forget the powders and just add this edge of powder. Okay, so what's the cost compared to fluoro powders or HF gliders? Uh, the price is the same as the HF gliders. And when you have applied the wax, scrape it off when it's still warm. Now, and then let the ski cool down and brush with metal brush or horse hair and polish with nylon brush and then you're done. 